I'm Andrew Borman, digital games curator here at the Strong National Museum of Play. We're in one of our storage areas where we store some of the over 65,000 objects related to electronic games and its history. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some of those objects. Let's take a look. While we have many consoles made by developers that you may know, like Sony, Microsoft, or Nintendo, we also have other consoles that are a bit less common. Right up here, we have a console that's made by Bandai, but what makes this one unique is it's less of a traditional console and more of a computer. This particular console is powered by Apple software. This console is the Zebo. It was released in territories like Mexico and Brazil, and it received a ton of titles that you may recognize, like Resident Evil. But instead of being a computer in a console, it's more of a cell phone in a console. In addition to the consoles, we have a ton of controllers that are equally as rare. We have multiple Steel Battalion controllers. These ones are for Xbox and feature over 40 buttons on the controller and three different pedals. This controller by Sega is quite honestly like nothing else we have in the collection. What is pods? What do you need, a road map? Try to win by keeping Instead of using the traditional buttons or joysticks or pedals, this one uses lights to try to detect your motion. It didn't really work that well, but it was an interesting look at what Sega was doing to try to innovate video games. While many of the video game related objects in the collection are things that you could go to the store and buy yourself, some of them are quite different. This is an Xbox debug kit, and it's used to make Xbox games. This particular unit was owned by Stormfront Studios, where they developed such games as Blood Wake and The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Thank you for joining me in this look in one of our storage areas here at the Strong National Museum of Play. I hope you've enjoyed your trivia night, so until next time, thanks for coming.